going to add some boric acid uh, to our pool to try to stop the pH from climbing uh, so quickly and for uh, to reduce the amount of muriatic acid that we have to use to keep the pH and the total alkalinity uh, in the limits. Uh, in this pool, we've got a water feature here, this hot tub that's raised up that uh, is always aerating the water and that helps contribute towards the pH is always climbing. So I added quite a bit of acid last year and looks like for the cost, uh, maybe an investment in this boric acid will pay off and reduce that for the next couple years. So what we got here is a 55-gallon uh, bucket, and that is just about what I need for this pool. This pool's 23,000 gallons, and they say you need about 2.5 pounds per 1,000 gallons of water to achieve a 50 pa uh, parts per million uh, level of borates in the pool and that's what I'm shooting for is to get to that 50 parts per million this is the granular stuff I got it from uh, Duda Diesel um, or Duda Energy Company you can find them online I'll put a link in the uh, video description they're the ones that'll ship it to you direct this came to my house for $125 here to Texas I think the product was around 85 bucks and then with some sales tax and shipping it came out to a total charge of $125 so if that can uh, balance out what I spent in muriatic acid last year and maybe help for two years, then all the better. Um, in addition to the pH being stabilized, I'm also told that we're going to see algae be inhibited. So it's not going to kill algae that might be in the pool already. I tried to do a good job to clean that out. Uh, but any other algae that would start up, it's going to be inhibited from growing So that's what it looks like. Just looks like a bunch of salt. Really, it's got that same consistency of a little bit of a sea salt, thick, thick kind of salt. Let's go ahead and pour some of this in. And you can see it looks like salt down there at the uh, corner of the wall and the floor. Just kind of built up there from where I was pouring it along the edge. I'm going to go ahead and just sweep it out just to let that all mix in. So I left about 10 pounds in the bucket, I'm just guessing about a fifth of this. And I'm gonna save that for after we do some tests and look at the borate level. Maybe I'll dump that in tomorrow or the next day. Okay, it's the next day. Gonna go ahead and do one of these borate tests. This is the Lamont test strip for borates. And I'll put a link to it in the video description. Now with these, you put them in and hold them in the water for five seconds. And then lift it straight up with the pad up. And then you want to make sure you wait for 15 seconds before you do the comparison. They start out really pink. And now after about 15 seconds, it's looking to me like it's between 30 and 50. 50 might be it. Going to head to do a quick pH test and an alkalinity test. First, let's do the alkalinity. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 100 it is. Alkalinity a little high at 100. Go ahead and do pH test. Looks like it's about 7.8. About 7.8, maybe 7.6, but looking a little bit high. I have a little bit of muriatic acid. Do a quick chlorine test. Five, six, eight, nine, there we go. So I went ahead and entered my test results into the pool math app. So here I've entered a free chlorine of four and a half, combined chlorine was zero. Um, and a good benefit of using boric acid versus borax or that 20 mule borax um, is that I did not have to add a bunch of acid to keep the alkalinity in check and the pH. So um, even though we dumped 50, almost 50 pounds of boric acid in the pool, uh, alkalinity stayed steady. It's about 100 and the pH is a 7.8, which for me, you know, keeping these numbers anywhere close to this is always a challenge. So I'll have to top off a little bit of more muric attic acid, and hopefully we'll see a, a stability going forward. Uh, I didn't test calcium hardness. I did CYA the other day, it was at about 50. And then here's our reading for borates at 50 and a water temperature of 59. So it's been about a week since uh, we put borates in the pool. Uh, things are looking good. Water's nice and sparkly. And the pH has been pretty stable. It's showing a 7.8 on the test this morning with only one drop needed to get it to a uh, <clears throat> acid demand test of uh, 7.6. Uh, so I'm very happy with that. We'll keep monitoring this over the next few months. I'll do an update video um, so that you can see what the progress looks like over time. Uh, so if you would, give the video a thumbs up. That'll help other people find it. Um, and if you would subscribe, that'll let you know when that next video comes out. And as always, have a great day.